hey beautiful taurus how are you guys doing i'm gonna do a love reading welcome to the gifted hermit um definitely with the devil here i think uh on the bottom of the deck just to put it out you know this reading is not going to resonate with everybody i'll try to keep it general but generally speaking i think there's an obsession here there's an addiction here so either taurus you're addicted to somebody or someone's addicted to you you know please come and get me you know that luring in energy there's definitely maybe something toxic it could be in your past now, right? Um, but it could be the foundation of this reading as well. That there's a slight obsession or addiction going on. All right. A lot of uh, it could be addicted to sex, addicted to this person, addicted to drugs, obsessions, sexual chemistry, bonding, like naughty sex, uh, quite, I wouldn't say violent sex, but rough sex, right? Like not very loving, but more dark sexual you know what i mean y'all know what i'm talking about right <laughs> so again it's a love reading it picks up on two energies okay and there's three questions and the three questions are how you're being viewed what you want from each other and where you believe it's going so let's start off with the first energy oh dearie me sorry about the lighting let's try and get it yeah four of swords <laughs> Not great, right? Um, someone's being viewed here as... <sighs> well, look at the picture. I try to get my viewers to connect with the cards. What do you see there with the Four of Swords? It's quite sad, isn't it? When we talk about the swords, we talk about the thinking, right? And it's all about the mind, right? So I think someone's viewing somebody here as, oh, perhaps you need a break. Perhaps you need some rest. Um, perhaps you need, you, you know, you've had enough, um, you're exhausted over this. Um, this is also self-love. Maybe someone's thinking, someone's doing someone here is a bit selfish, kind of thinking of themselves. Hey, don't shoot me. I am just the messenger. This could be like a break, you know, someone's doing somebody here. Generally speaking, it's okay, you need some time, you need some space. Um, you're a bit overwhelmed or over-exhausted and... That sort of stuff, okay? Um, you need to heal. That type of energy, all right? So that's how somebody's being viewed. Either you're viewing someone like that, Taurus, or they're viewing you like that, right? Then we got, what do they want? High Priestess. These cards are so divine. High Priestess, man. That psyche. That intuition. You know, maybe someone's wanting to dream about you. Someone's wanting... You know, to visualize their future, manifest you into their life. You know, this is like magic work, you know, not dark magic, but magic. Somebody wants to meditate, relax, take it easy, go with their intuition, um, go within, kind of remain very positive about this. You know, um, the this, this shadow side of this is somebody might want to keep a secret or they don't want to gossip or maybe someone wants to gossip um maybe someone's wanting to figure out if someone has a hidden agenda and that type of thing mm -hmm. the shadow side of this is not paying attention to that inner voice you know and going against the grain so Somebody's definitely wanting to tap into their intuition, you know, get down to something here, that psyche, right? Mm -hmm. Where they believe it's going. Queen of Swords energy. So I feel like some of you might be dealing with an air sign, perhaps. Um, the Queen of Swords energy. Uh, very intelligent woman. Uh, wanting to get down to the truth, you know? Someone believes they're going to get down to the truth, perhaps. Someone believes that you know, they're going to communicate what it is they need to communicate or get across. This is about someone believes that they're going to be direct about the situation and honest. Um, you know, it, communication might be cold as well with the, with this type of uh, sword energy. It can be very cold, all right? But this is very much uh, using the intellect, okay? Um, and trying to calmly figure out how to... Be honest, get this conversation across, use their logic, be graceful at the same time, not kind of like act on impulse, right? But rather think this through, okay? So someone believes that there's definitely going to be a conversation here, but this person is getting uh, all the facts 
evaluating everything really getting down to what's going on in their mind and stuff like that all right it's about uh growing from the situation and also getting some sort of clarity right so that is uh pretty much the first energy how someone's being viewed what they want and where they believe it's going now we move on to the second energy. So that could have been your energy or that could have been theirs, all right? It will all make sense, my darlings, um, once this reading's over. And I will pull out some angel cards at the end. It doesn't have to relate to the love reading, um, but it may do so, all right? But it's pretty much messages for you. All right, so going to the how someone's being viewed here, King of Cups. This could be how you're being viewed or how you're viewing them, okay? This is very very emotionally intelligent type of energy someone that's good with their words they know how to seduce uh-huh wine and dine make you feel good okay so again this could be your energy and how you're making someone feel and how they're viewing you or how you're viewing someone taurus okay i think i've always got to keep reminding you guys because it can be a bit confusing someone's viewing somebody here as somewhat you know stable you know, this is king energy. They have a balance of their emotions. Someone that's somewhat supportive. Someone that's a wise person, a wise leader, even. Um, very romantic. King of Cups, beautiful energy here. Um, lovely. Deep love here, okay? So someone's viewing somebody here in a very loving way, um, perhaps, right? So... Two of Swords. That's the shit I can't understand. <laughs> so someone wants to not give much away. Wants to keep their feelings suppressed. Wants to perhaps stay in denial and pretend that, that they don't have feelings or there's not a problem or everything's going to be all right. Maybe someone's wanting to really kind of be a stalemate now and try and disconnect from something here, okay? Um, maybe someone wants to try and figure out the best route of action, okay? Um, but there's a lot of thinking here again. Somebody's wanting to kind of blind themselves from the truth. You know, this is trying to wanting to move towards the light, okay? And making the right decision. So that's, uh, you know, very, very broad, but that's that's pretty much, what's, you know, it's either someone's in denial, they're wanting to make the right choice and, and move themselves to the light, right? Into a state of um, what they feel is good for them. So going to the where they believe it's going, we've got the Three of Pentacles energy. Three of Pentacles talks about either going alone or doing it as a team right it's very two different aspects of this card and that's either going alone you know never forgetting what you can do as an individual what you can bring to the table as yourself you know or it could be that you know you're going to have to put in a lot of work as a team in order to get something off the ground here or start this new beginning or whatever it is okay this is about cooperation someone believes that someone's going to cooperate here um they're going to learn again um someone believes that they're going to listen they're going to share teamwork here is makes the dream work someone believes that there's no limit to what they can manifest together you know the number three is a foundation i asked for a clarifier and we got the ten of cups so this is about togetherness, all right, and what what the future can possibly bring, okay? This is wanting to work. They believe that, they, you know, in order to get this, you really have to work as a power couple, a dream team. You know, it's going to take sharing and listening. It's going to take a lot of that to get this, Right? It's about collaborating. Ooh la la. Let's get some angel cards for Taurus, please. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 
Give us some guided messages, angels. The Taurus, what does Taurus need to know? One more shuffle. Guys, please remember to give me a thumbs up if the reading resonated with you in any way. You can catch me for live tarot where you can possibly get your questions answered for free. Um, catch me on social media, but I'm trying to stay away from that shit right now. And um, I think that's about it. Hermit, spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. Beautiful card, I think, you know. Um, don't be hard on yourself, don't be hard on others, Taurus. You're going to be growing a lot, healing a lot. A lot of you are going to be, when you spend time alone, you're going to find the answers that you need within the chariot. Go for it, energy. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition, you know. Um, being recognized for your achievements, perhaps by somebody or more than one person, um, you know, kind of getting praise for something here. Self-discipline is highlighted here. It's important to have self-discipline. It really is in life. That Knight of Cups energy, falling in love, wedding proposals, the need to balance your emotions, an invitation to a social event. Um, I like this. I like this energy. So you guys, some of you are really enthusiastic with love, which is really nice. I like that. And um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Found it somewhat insightful. Go get it. Go get whatever it is that you want, okay? But be sure to be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you. Love, peace, and light, Taurus, and I'll catch you on the rebound. Mwah.